noise cancellation system that uses brain data to detect what you're listening to. But it's just brain activity. Just brain activity. And once you started to know the controls, it became easier for you. How cool is that, right? That's amazing. I just think the word transparency and it goes into transparency mode. It's going to have to be uh, off the record. Yeah. What we're going to talk about today is sci-fi in the best way possible. Forget touch controls, voice, or even gestures in the air. The best way to control your computer is your brain. Namaste. Today, we'll look at an exclusive we got at CES, an interview with the CEO and founder of Neurable. So, Neurable, tell us a little bit. Yeah, so really the, the story of Neurable uh, starts when I was about eight years old. My, my uncle actually got into a trucking accident. He lost both his legs. Oh. And it was a, a, a traumatic time, obviously, for him, but uh, it's, it's what made, motivated me to create technology that could help first individuals like him. But then when I went to grad school, I saw that there was this huge issue in, in just neuroscience in general, where we had technology that could be used to, to really impact people's lives, uh, but it required systems like that one over there. Yeah. So this is what the standard brain computer oh, yeah. interface system looks. There's sensors all over the place. Uh, and so what we developed at the University of Michigan is a technology to help increase the signal to noise of brain data, which just means that we're able to pick up signal uh, at a much higher sensitivity. Uh, we have about a 90% correlation coefficient to this system here. It okay. took 10 years of work, yeah. but we got it down to essentially something that looks like a pair of headphones and earbuds, right? Oh, wow. And we partnered then with uh, a boutique uh, audio file company called Master Dynamics, uh, leveraging their already successful MW75. Yeah, what I like is it looks like a headphone. So yeah. That's amazing. It just looks like a beautiful pair of headphones. Yes, that's it does. It, right? Yes. Yeah. This headset is $23,000. $600 is the normal Master Dynamics system. Yeah. And, but, and this is like $49 more than the Master Dynamics right. system. I'll take a 90% correlation. Yeah. For the price <laughs> 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 Me too. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Excellent. Yeah. And the pattern on the ear cups, can that be changed or is that a... For sure. But I, I think it looks cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the one that we're doing for the DOD here. You can see that we've got a slightly different pattern, right? Mm -hmm. So if you want to make the patterns look different, you can. Uh, you can also change the color, et cetera. But, no uh, you know, we want to keep this because it's also assigned to customers that they know where the product is from, who the company is. Um, that way, you know, they can trust the product. It's really important for us. Yeah. Q2 of, of uh of this year. The Master and Dynamic. The Master yeah. Dynamic Neurable AI headphones. All it really is, is, oh, right, okay. so this is the hardware, it just easily drops in there, mm -hmm. and then we have a chip in there running our AI, and that's it. Yeah, yeah and, and that, that was the goal, right? Which is like, how do we take something that traditionally would be these large, crazy, mm -hmm. torture device looking systems, right? Okay. And then bring it down to something that can be used every day. We then take the data and we can display it into an app, right? Mm -hmm. And in that app, we can uh, look at people's focus over time, help them improve their focus. Most importantly, it tells you when to take a break. Okay. Now, when you feel like taking a break and when you actually take a break are two different time points. Um, oh, interesting. Yeah. And what we showed in, in a Mayo Clinic study that we did was that people who took breaks based off of their brain data mm -hmm. were able to have two really strong, productive uh, moments of their work. You talk about focus and maybe I'm veering off track, but are there other parameters that you can also measure? Yeah, focus is just what we're rolling out with first. All right. Okay. Uh, but we're going to have a hands-free control system soon so you can switch music tracks okay. uh, using the sensors instead of touching the system. Oh, that's pretty, fun. Pretty cool, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then we also have ways of personalizing music. It's going to be a, a noise cancellation system that uses brain data to detect what you're listening to. So imagine you're on a plane, right? <laughs> and uh, you're watching a movie. Yeah. Flight attendant comes to you. We can pause the movie automatically. We know that you're switching from the movie to the flight attendant. So now we can increase their voice and decrease all the other surrounding sounds. So those are all things we're going to be doing software updates yeah. with the product and rolling out over time. Yeah. But it is going to take time. Of so course. It's, not, it's not going to happen online. So there's no, no vocal input. There's no tactile input. It's just brain activity. Just brain activity, which oh, is really cool. Awesome. But you're going to be seeing more products rolling out. Yeah. They're going to have a badge on them that says powered by Neurable AI. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Okay. And that's how you know that it's a product that has gone through those 10 years of development. And what kind of products? should we expect these are headphones headphones earbuds helmets essentially anything that touches your head yeah. eventually ar devices as well too yeah. all of those are going to start to roll out with neural yeah. based technology inside of it as well i think privacy would be a concern right yeah like, you can literally huge. read my mind so my co-founder co is a neuroethicist all right. so it's something that's very core to the company mm -hmm. we follow all 
you know, HIPAA standards. We de-identify all the all the data that we collect. We only collect data with user consent. Okay. So there's an opt-in mm -hmm. uh, method to it. Um, but that's really core to to the technology. We also promise never to sell your data. Yeah. Uh, those are all things that are core to the company. And those models, are you feeding this data back into the model from, from products that you sell, or how does that work? If the user is Con fine with us using their data to mm -hmm. further improve the models, which you know we hope people will be because it will help enable so many more you know, development of the technology. And yeah. also, you know, there's going to be a lot of scientific work that can be done on this type of platform. Yeah. Uh, and so it could really accelerate a lot of, uh, you know, tackling some of the biggest questions in neuroscience. Okay. But I think the best way to actually see the system in action is to show you a demo oh, wow. of, of the focus system, yeah. just so that you can see how accurate it is. It's going to be fun because I have not slept for a few days. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be high on focus. The video is probably going to be viral because I'm having a bad hair day. So, <laughs> so we're going to start off by doing a really simple task first just mm -hmm. to make sure everything is running so do you see this number down here yeah I want you to say it in your head as intensely as you can so as you've been focusing you notice that this line has been going up and then when you relax it goes down mm -hmm. so this was you focusing initially and then the camera went to your face and yes. it dropped down because right. it was distracting you <laughs> <laughs> and then you focused again yeah and then you move the camera away yeah and then you went back to focusing and it went back up. And now this is me distracting you and then this is me explaining the technology oh, to you. So one to one, you can essentially see your brain activity. Wow. Uh, now do me a favor. I'm going to give you an article to read. So check this out. You're reading, mm -hmm. the camera went to your face, distracted you. Jeez. Then you went back to reading and it goes up and then in a second it'll start to go down. Yeah. There you go. Now let's, let's do something even cooler. I have a video game set up over here. So this was you playing the game. Yeah. Then you paused it, went down, right? Yep. So this was you actually playing the game the first part, and then once you started to know the controls, it became easier for you. You're able to maintain that focus for longer, and now you're paying attention to me, which is great. That's amazing, yeah, to see it in real time. And then, like I said, it's all tied to the app, right, to make yep. it easy for people to understand. This is just obviously a testing platform. Exactly. I didn't realize that the camera distracted me that much. <laughs> so we're the only Department of Defense approved brain computer interface company. They actually wow. tested out a large selection of them over two years. Mm -hmm and most of them uh, got ranked between something called technology readiness level one to three. Mm -hmm. uh, nine being that it's ready for actual use, one to three means research. We got an eight. Uh, and so we're working with the Department of Defense to create new solutions that can help. First, it's gonna be soldiers, but then it's gonna be helping people. So mm -hmm. for example, understanding brain damage, mm -hmm. you know, uh, concussions, things like that. And then we can transition that to the consumer product. And so, essentially, we're working to bring out more of these really powerful scientific benefits mm -hmm. to people in the long term. But it works so well that you can experience it and see, yeah, this is working, right? Yeah. Even I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, do they need power? Or? They do need power. So they're powered by the headphones? They're powered by the headphones. It okay. barely affects battery life. Yeah. I think that right now, Master Dynamic Systems with ANC go down to about 12 hours. So it's yeah. 32 hours normal, mm -hmm. 12 hours with ANC on max. Mm -hmm. And then with our tech, they go down somewhere between 8 to 10. Okay. And that's without any of the power changes that we're doing. So you buy these headphones now, mm -hmm. but then you're going to get a software update for hands-free control. Yeah. Then you're going to get an update for improved battery life. And it's wow. just going to be, uh, if you have access to the headphones, you can, we'll, we'll have an API where you can get access to brain data, the accelerometer data, any other sensors that are on there yeah. through the Neurable app. Neurable app. So yeah. so you, separate app you need the Neurable app to get insight. No, I'm yes. repeating what he said because he's not mic'd up. <laughs> <laughs> if you develop an app for the Master and Dynamic headphones and then somebody else has a different pair of headphones that are also Neurable powered, your apps will work inter interchangeably. So you're kind of the app store for brain... Uh, yeah, uh, we call it the Brain OS. Brain OS, yes. really? Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, yeah. I was thinking for term, but you already <laughs> have done that. So good. Does it not work with certain people or people with certain conditions? When we first started building the product, it didn't work on certain people. Mm -hmm. But now we've collected close to 6,000 people worth of data, mm -hmm. refined it for the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. And so thus far, like we've been able to have perfect demos. It works on everybody. Right. So right now, we were currently knock on wood you know, at a hundred percent hit rate. Nice. Uh, but once things launch, obviously there's going to be new parameters we've never seen before. Of course. And to us, those are new parameters for us to improve on. Awesome. It was great. It was great meeting you. I think this is fantastic. I'm really, really excited about these. Can't wait to give you guys a review copy. So. Oh, cool. Thanks, man. Thank you. It's lovely meeting you. For sure. So that was fun. We have a special surprise for all our members and patrons, all of you guys. We are going to release the 
uncut version of this interview for you so watch out for that so thank you so much for your support uh, this is a little bit of a thank you back from us and especially thanks to our fuckman tier members paula hunter and gamma panda you guys are awesome do it